Login accepted. Hi everyone, this is Freddy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up hot folders on your Canon Image Runner Advanced device. So the first thing before we get started is you want to make sure that you have platform version 3.10 system software on your Canon Image Runner Advance. That is the first version platform that allows you to have these hot folders. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is open up a web browser and put in the IP address of your copier. Once the web page loads up, you want to enter in the username and password which in most cases is administrator and whatever password you created on install. Next up, you want to click on settings registration. Then on the left, you want to scroll down so you find function settings and select printer. And then the last choice is hot folder management. Select Add Folder. Under Folder Name, give the folder a good name. Um, it's recommended to use whatever options you plan on setting up. In this case, it's Corner Staple. And you can choose any settings for the folder you like. If you wanted a certain number of copies, if you want two-sided printing, if you want um, different paper sources, I like to select paper source for auto and paper type for auto just in case um, there's different paper types in the drawer. It'll just choose it by letter size. And then I'll choose corner staple and top left. Once all your settings are done, you scroll up and click on add. Now, if you've never set up an advanced box folder before you might get a pop-up saying that advanced box has to be enabled because the hot folders are actually created within the advanced box shared folder so you go ahead and click yes and OK and it'll actually enable the advanced box then it'll give you this message here showing you the folder path to the hot folder now on this machine that I was creating it, um, the DNS wouldn't resolve the attractions.com, so I'm just going to use the copier name, which you can also change under settings if you want to change that copier name. So now I'll right click on the Windows logo in the taskbar, and I will select run, and then we'll put in backslash backslash and the name of the copier. And then you can actually click into the share and you can click into the corner staple and it shows that you have access to that hot folder. So next I'll right click on the Windows logo again and I will choose File Explorer. And then you, you wanna click on Map Network Drive. In the folder box, I'm gonna go ahead and type in that path to the shared folder click finish windows will connect to it and now it's actually mapped the network drive so you can actually see it in your list of folders and locations so now I'll just click and drag that onto the desktop and now to print the job all you have to do is select a PDF file or JPEG or a TIFF and drag it into the hot folder I'm going to click on it and you can see that the file is waiting in the hot folder and it takes a few seconds before the machine will pull it and print it out. Now I'm going to show you how to use the IP address instead of the printer. So I'm just going to go into this folder and since it's a very long name, I'm just going to highlight it and copy it. I'm not going to change anything in that folder. And we're going to go through the same process. You go to the file explorer. You click on Map Network Drive, and then you put in the path, the full path to the folder. And in this case, I'm going to use the IP address. So it'll be backslash, backslash, 192.168.0.215. Backslash, share 
backslash and I'll paste in that long folder path that I had there. And then when you click finish, it'll connect and it pops up in your file explorer, which means it has a connection. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll just click and drag that to the desktop. And now you can go ahead and test it by dragging a PDF file to it. Now, if you notice, it says copy. Whenever I drag it, you want to make sure it says copy because if you don't, if it says move, that means it will actually delete your file from your computer. So always make sure it says copy before you drop it into the hot folder. Now if it does say move instead of copy, what you can actually do is you hold down the control key and move will turn into copy. So just keep that in mind, that's a little tech tip there for you. And this is just another sample. And I just ran another test and you can see that the file disappears from the hot folder and that means it's being printed on the copier. Now you don't have to put the hot folders on the desktop. You can leave them there in the file explorer and the users can just drag it over into that network drive. But I put it on the desktop for simplicity so that everyone can see how it actually works. Just do what's easiest for you and the users. Oh, and one more tip. If you don't see the map network drive button in your toolbar, click on this PC on the left hand side and then that should give you the option. That's all there is to it. Until next time, this is Freddy signing off.